Hey, what's up, vinyl community? How's everybody doing out there in uh, the vinyl community? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, Conrad, um, my thoughts go out to you and your dog there, man. Hope everything works out fine. Um, yeah, so I'm just here to do another video. It's what we do here. And uh, I just recently took took to uh, Second Spin Records store there a bunch of the records that I just don't listen to or have never really had a chance to listen to and probably won't or like genres of music that I'm not really so into I just kind of get, get rid of them uh, and I uh, got a couple of new records in exchange so pretty excited I'm gonna show probably three new records and then I'm gonna go and show more from that haul that I got a while back of like 60 records for a dollar each so Anyways, I'm gonna start it all off with a record that I've been wanting for a very long time, like a very long time, but it just, it never really was on my radar. And uh, this, it just came up at uh, Second Spin today. So I got this for, I think it was 15 bucks uh, sealed Galaxy 500 today. Uh, really nice, really nice record. Tugboat, which is covered by Big Star 1000 on his uh, Man Called F album. Um, uh, really cool stuff, limited edition. Uh, Galaxy 500 today, Damon, Naomi, and Dean Warham. Um, this, I actually got to see uh, Damon and Naomi a while back in Portland, Maine. It was just a fantastic show. Uh, really low key, like tempo kind of thing, but really nice stuff. Uh, just so happy to get this. This is, this is a, a bona fide classic. And if you have never heard it, at least just try and check it out. Galaxy 500 today. Uh, another record that I got today at Second Spin, this was $15, <coughs> excuse me, Free Jazz, a collective improvisation by the Ornette Coleman, uh, Double Quartet, really I listened to, really fantastic, I listened to the first side of the record today, <coughs> and uh, it's incredible, the guy was just uh, on top of it, you know, of cutting edge sounds and jazz at the time, this is, um, a painting by Jackson Pollock, which pretty much sums up what the music of free jazz in general sounds like. It's all chaotic, but it has a cohesive nature, you know? Uh, free jazz, yeah, so just a fantastic album on Atlantic. And uh, this was a really nice score, too. Uh, this has also been on my radar for a while, but it's just one of those ones that you just never see, you know? But it's the Soft Boys, a can of bees. Oh, we got to. We got. To, Foster in action here. Uh, heard something fall back there. Foster! Foster! What you doing? Say hi to the vinyl community. Say hi to the vinyl community. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. We do good boys. You see us. Sorry, little foster break there. Okay, go lay down on your bed. Alright, so. Yeah, the Soft Boys, Can of Bees, one of the very first albums of the Soft Boys. I don't know if it's their very first, but uh, I know that the Soft Boys started in 78. This was recorded or released in 79. Uh, as you can see, still sealed on Yep Rock. Pretty good price on it too, $22.95. Not bad for 180 gram vinyl repress. Looking forward, anything Robin Hitchcock does, I, I like pretty much. Um, okay, so now we're going to go into the into the records from that haul that I got a while back from a friend of mine who sold me 60 records for a dollar each. So, and this is this is going into them. So, I got Osibisa's Head. Um, really cool. I, I should open this up. So their album art is just fantastic. Sort of reminiscent of Miles Davis's uh, Bitches Brew, like just the faces and stuff. But uh, really trippy, weird elephant butterfly thing happening there. It's a gatefold. Really, really nice sort of um, funky soul jazz kind of stuff. Uh, hard to explain, but just wonderful music. Just wonderful, wonderful music. And they're really quite, you know, they have a, they have a good number of records. Maybe eight or nine or maybe maybe even ten. I don't know. But uh, I've got a few of them. I got, I got a few others, but I haven't listened to them yet, so I'm not going to feature them in this video. By the way, in the background, we're listening to... Uh, I have more than you by the by dragging the mules the name of the group I do believe I could be wrong they, I do believe they are Canadian it's sort of um, you know goth kind of style stuff 
I don't know why they bother printing anything where you really have a hard time reading it, but that's the insert for the record. And it came with a, an extra CD too. I got this for free at the, excuse me, at the radio station. It came with this other, ooh, that's trippy. See-through, that's weird. Never noticed that, CDs are see-through. Anyway, uh, dragging the mule, the, the hideous strength. So, came with an extra CD. Kind of interesting, you know, free. I got a free in the free box of CDs that they have at the, live, at the uh, sorry, at the uh, radio station. Um, a classic that I didn't have, uh, that I love. I love all of the uh, musicians on this, on this puppy. I mean, John McLaughlin, Billy Cobbin, Rick Laird, Jan Hammer, and Jerry Goldman. This is the Mahavishnu Orchestra, the Inner Mountain Flame with John McLaughlin. So I got this for a dollar in that haul a while back. Really nice to have. It needs to be repaired here on the bottom, but that's no big deal. Actually, I don't ever <laughs> repair records. I just leave them as is. But it's on, I think, I do believe this is an original Columbia. I'm really bad at knowing what's original and what's not. But anyway, maybe uh, maybe uh, Dr. Deadwax can let me know. Uh, also, just uh, incidentally, if you haven't checked out Dr. Dex Dead Waxes and uh, Sublime Media, Jonas, and uh, Bjorn, uh, oh, what's the handle? I think it's Bjorn is his name. They're all doing sort of, uh, you know, you pick numbers and they, they select records from their crates and, and sort of, you know, feature them. Really cool. So check, check that out in the Milo community. Uh, I finally had a chance to uh, listen to this. And uh, man, I, uh, this, is, this is just killer. Talk about innovative music. Talk about an amazing guitar player. And just odd, odd orchestra, not orchestrations, but odd arrangements and stuff of music. Fred Frith, cheap at half the price. Not what I expected when I listened to it. I expected kind of like really out there, like solo guitar-ish kind of stuff. But this is really tight, quick songs that are just... Uh, Really innovative and cool, I don't know. The residents come to mind, to be honest, with this album. Uh, and they are on Ralph Records, which uh, I know the residents released some stuff on that record label. I'll show you the labels so you can see. Ralph Records. It's in great, great shape. And for a buck, I mean, just I'm just floored myself, like still with a lot of this music. Now this wasn't in the hall, I picked this up for two bucks. It's one of the Carlos Santana albums I haven't uh, I, I don't, I, I don't have in my collection, but I do now. Is, uh, is, is, it's Devendip, Devid, Devidip, <laughs> Oneness, Sol, Silver Dreams, Golden Reality. Really wonderful cover on this one. It is a gatefold, very religious. I love that uh, painting there. Pretty interesting stuff. And then, of course, it opens up to be really trippy. And, psychedelic so cool stuff really cool stuff so uh, yeah great record uh, this is probably one of my one of the best one of the better of the Devo records that I that I have and that I have heard um, this is a uh, new traditionalist by Devo so uh, this was a dollar so pretty cool to get that um, really wonderful really Wizard, a wizard on the guitar. This is Jim Hall, live. If you want to hear like guitar, like jazz guitar done well, check this guy out. This is a wonderful gatefold record. It's a single record, but it's it's gatefold. On the back, they explain him. They explain he is a wizard, truly the only contemporary guitarist to be mentioned with Charlie Christian and Django Reinhardt, who is one of my favorite guitar players. Over the years, I've heard him in playing situations ranging from Sonny Rollins Quartet in the gloom of McKee's Bar on the south side of Chicago to the East Room of the White House at Duke Ellington's 70th birthday party. So very versatile, very respected uh, jazz guitarist Jim Hall. I know that um, I know that Anders, you're quite familiar with this guy um, and all the, all the other jazz aficionados out there. Um, oh, and also Anders has a really cool uh, circle of musicians um, thread going on that everybody should check out. I'm hoping to answer it. I'm going to try my best um, 
I guess just gotta have to find the time to get to it, that's all. But if I can, I will. And I also had a chance to listen to this a little bit more in depth. This is an album that Big Star 1000, uh, uh, Fred sent me, uh, Diva. It's the soundtrack for the movie Diva by, um, you know, music recorded by Vladimir Kozma. And it's an audiophile pressing, which is really cool. Um, Fred was kind enough to send this to me out of the goodness of his heart, and uh, I thank him for it. It's it's a really, really unique record, and uh, I, I love it. I love it. I wasn't sure what to think of it, you know? Um, you know, just before I listened to it, but I, I love it. It's fantastic. So if you haven't heard this, it merges a lot of different stuff. Like, it's there's piano solos on this. There's uh, just, like, there's sort of... Um, operatic kind of singing it's it's really 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 all over the place but really cool really awesome and also I had a chance to listen to this this is also from Fred Big Star 1000 and De La Soul he sent me this nice cover uh, yeah so just a classic hip-hop record um, and just a couple more guys I hope this isn't too long oh good good well, not even 12 minutes this was one of the ones I picked up in that uh, one dollar um, Hall that I picked up. Each record was a dollar. This is uh, Sonny Rollins, Vintage Sessions. Just, this is just awesome. Uh, Amy really loves this album too. We listened to it when we had uh, supper a couple of nights ago. And it was just, it's just the perfect music for supper. <laughs> music to eat to, Sonny Rollins, Vintage Sessions. Just a uh, gay fold, double LP set. Lots and lots of information on here. Um, and these are some of the people that play on this album with Sonny Rollins are Blakey, Kenny Clark, Miles Davis, Kenny Durham, Kenny Drew, Roy Haynes, Percy Heath, Elmo Hope, uh, Milt Jackson, John Lewis, Polonius Monk, Tommy Potter, Art Taylor. It goes on. So really cool. I'll show you that. I'll show you one of the records. It's on the Prestige rec record label. And uh, it's a St. John High, or no, sorry, St. John Regional Library Withdrawal. That's with the S-J-R-L-W-D. A while back, for whatever reason, probably I would imagine space, because they really had quite an impressive record collection at my local library, but they sold them all. They sold them all for a dollar each at their annual book sale. And uh, those who were there early got stuff like this. I could never get up that early, so I, I missed out on a lot of stuff. But although what goes around comes around, because I, I I have it now. So yeah, Sonny Rollins. This is this, these are the songs that are on it. And the last record I I'm gonna feature for today. Well, actually, I might have a few more after this, just because I've listened to them and I want to feature them so I can put them back in the stacks. But. Uh, uh, this is an upgrade copy for me. Uh, I love, this is probably one of my favorite Bob Dylan albums. And it's probably, ironically, I read someplace where uh, Dylan said that this was one of his least favorite records that he's recorded. But it's the soundtrack for Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Really, just a fantastic album. A lot of uh, instrumental stuff that's just like killer. Um, the main theme, Billy, just is just killer. It's so awesome. And then, of course, this is the album where he came out with Knocking on Heaven's Door, Bob Dylan soundtrack, on Columbia, Red Columbia label. But, uh, so yeah, there, there you have it. There's the, the next little batch of records that I've had a chance to listen to, for the most part, from that $1 haul. I hope everybody's doing well in uh, Vinyl Community Land. I haven't been around too, too much, just been busy. Preparing for this child that Amy and I are having. <laughs> we actually just put the crib together. I think I might have said that in my last video, but that's the latest highlight anyways. And um, yeah, so it's pretty exciting. Uh, but I, I have been quite busy. I have some uh, packages that I'm gonna be sending out here soon. But then I think that will be it for me for packages for quite a while. Just, uh, you know, just postage and all that. Like it seems like I'm always sending packages out or something, but uh, not complaining, I mean, I love sharing the love, and uh, you know, it's all good, so. Anyways, I'll stop babbling. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.